Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're having an issue with the generic PNP monitor not detected, which stands for plug and play on your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to make sure that the physical cord, so the HDMI or the VGA cable is properly connected and secured. So if it's loose, you may want to consider tightening it or replacing it with an alternative cable and see if that resolves the issue because it certainly could be a hardware related issue here that you're not getting a good connection. Something else you can try here as well would be to update the graphics driver. So in order to do that, you'd open up the search menu, type in device manager. Best result, should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go ahead and double click on the monitor section and then right click on whatever monitor is listed under here. You can see in our case it does say the generic non-PNP monitor. In your case it likely will say something different. It would say PNP monitor. It wouldn't say non-PNP monitor. Not that it makes any difference for our scenario today. So we're going to go ahead and right click on it and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the generic PNP monitor because that's going to be what you're going to see in your case, so that's what we're going to proceed with here. So select that and then select next. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And I would suggest restarting your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve your problem, and you should not be having that error message for your monitor not being detected. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.